Hi everyone, I'm David Cross and welcome to Would You. Would You is our new entertainment review series here on WCTV's YouTube channel. You can expect reviews on games, movies, and TV series coming up in the future, but today we're gonna ask would you play it with ReCore on the Xbox One. ReCore released on September 13th, 2016 in North America as a Microsoft Play Anywhere title, meaning you can buy this game on the Xbox One and also play it on Windows. Produced by Kaiji Inafune, who is famous for his work with the Mega Man series, among other notable titles, and directed by Mark Pacini, who also directed part of the Metroid series, it's no surprise that this action-adventure platformer gets influences from both of those classics. In ReCore, you start off as Jewel Adams, a colonist from Earth on the planet of Far Eden, responsible for monitoring the terraforming process on the planet. But something has gone wrong. You wake up from cryosleep, and along with your trusty canine corbot named Mac, head out to set the terraforming process back into motion, and make Far Eden habitable for the rest of the colonists from Earth, who are waiting in their own cryosleep in the ships orbiting the planet. Along your adventure, you team up with two other Corbots named Seth and Duncan as you fight back against Victor, an advanced Corbot who is taking control of Far Eden for himself. Altogether, the combat mechanics are smooth, and while you don't have the diversity of several weapon types, your gun can switch between different ammo types, giving you the advantage in battle once you learn how to use it right. The platforming mechanic also comes into play in combat, as using Joel's exosuit abilities, it is essential to dodge enemy attacks to survive. Far Eden is semi-open world divided into four separate regions with an extra region called Eden Tower in the middle. Throughout the world are a number of dungeons Joel must explore to collect prismatic cores and advance through the main storyline. These dungeons offer time and collectible challenges as you fight your way through waves of enemies or traverse platform runs. The biggest fallback in the game will test your patience, literally. ReCore has loading screens far longer than any game I've ever, ever experienced. You may be saying to yourself right now that you've heard people say this before about games and that you've played those games and it wasn't that bad, the loading screens weren't that big a deal. It's not the case with ReCore. These loading screens are very, very long. You will notice them and it's going to test your patience. ReCore has also seen its share of bugs with players or enemies glitching into walls as well as the occasional game crash. It's definitely enough that your average player is going to notice these things, but if you ask me, not enough to dissuade someone completely from the game. For all the fallbacks, the saving grace of this game is the price point. ReCore is only $39.99, whereas we see most typical games are priced at $59.99. I've got a little over 10 hours logged into the game, and from where I'm at, I'd say the game will most likely offer around 25 to 35 hours, depending on whether or not you're going for all 1,000 gamer score. With the story interesting enough, I have no doubt I will come back and play through it at least one more time at some point. So if you ask me would you play it, my answer would be a definite yes. At $39.99 this game is a steal even with the bugs which will most likely be patched at some point. That's all for this episode of Would You. Be sure to subscribe to WCTV's YouTube channel for more. Thanks.